All right, good morning, guys. It is Friday, and um, I'm gonna vlog today just a little bit. Uh, today's been kind of a weird morning. Uh, this morning, I had I woke up at 4 a.m. and I got called into work for a couple hours. Right now, it's about 10 o'clock, so it's just been a really abnormal uh, working schedule uh, since um, I've been out of school for about a week. But uh, my my normal schedule goes back to goes back to having to work out at 4 a.m. Um, next week when I start classes, so I'm gonna be back into the normal routine. Uh, I haven't been to World Gym in almost two weeks now. Uh, didn't go there because I had all my finals coming up, so I really had to um, square away with the finals. Had a lot of studying to do and whatnot, and had to uh, hit the gym when I had time to. But that'll all come close to an end on Monday. So I'll be back at World Gym on Monday to see how um, everyone's doing out there. I talked to Jason this morning and uh, told him that I would be able to come this morning, but I couldn't because I got called into work, which was abnormal. But you know, it's 10 o'clock now, so I don't have to work for the rest of the day. And I've been really fortunate enough this week to be able to work out um, during the afternoons, which has been almost like a, uh, it's been nice to be able to work out at that time and be able to take your time to work out and um, do, you know, things normal people do. Uh, not Well, not necessarily normal people, but to be able to work out at a normal time instead of 4 a.m. I don't mind working at 4 a.m. Like, my body was so used to doing that. But um, it's just nice to be relaxed and worked out. But, yeah, so I'm actually at Starbucks right now. What's new? Because <laughs> uh, um, I have uh, some stuff I have to do for school online. And um, I do have Wi-Fi at my house. I choose to come to Starbucks because it has the environment where you're almost forced to do what you have to do, like in terms of work or like editing or things like that. Because I could do it at home, but you know, there's so many distractions at home. I can easily just stop and just watch TV, which I don't do anyway, or watch YouTube videos or do something that will, um, keep me away from doing what I need to do. So that's why I choose to do work at Starbucks. It keeps me concentrated. And plus they have coffee, so coffee or green tea. But lately I've been on the coffee tip, um, just one cup a day, which has been okay for me. Uh, actually two cups, because if I go to Starbucks, which I've been going to later during the day, um, I'll drink the second cup of coffee. But that's gonna be enough rambling. Just wanted to give you a little introductory to this video. Um, later on today I'm going to do a push day so an alternative push day that accessorizes my OHPs. And um, yeah, that'll be a little bit later. So I'll update you guys, probably get you some food for you guys or something like that. I've been having some crazy dreams about cheat meals, which has been crazy. But there I am, rambling again, talking, talking, talking. All right, so that is exactly what I'm talking about. I went into Starbucks, I did what I needed to do, spent about two and a half hours in there, got everything done, had my coffee, and I'm feeling accomplished because, boom, finished everything. But yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'm gonna go home, um, get ready for the gym, probably take a smoothie. I've been actually doing smoothies a while. I haven't really been into protein powder for the past two years. I've had a jug of protein under my, I've had actually two. I have my protein strawberry and I have a jug of Optimum Nutrition Whey that I've had for so long. And um, I, I've, I've actually gone into doing shakes. Uh, you guys seen in the previous videos that I've been doing uh, spinach, strawberries, bananas, a little bit of almond milk, and then the protein powder, which is like literally, it's like 250 calories. You put a little bit of ice in it and the volume you get, actually it's fulfilling, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, I, it doesn't keep me hungry, because normally I eat and I'm just hungry, hungry, hungry. So you, know, you add a little bit of ice to the shakes and then boom. <laughs> You know, it gives you all this volume and it keeps me full. So I, I guys, so give you guys an idea of how I do this smoothie. It is it's about 100 grams of strawberries, a half a banana right there. I have uh, the gold standard whey protein in there, the cookies and cream version. I put uh, some cinnamon in there, um, a good amount of it, just for the good taste. And I put about a serving or a serving and a half of spinach. Now I'm going to fill that up with ice, which gives it volume to increase a little bit more. And then I have over here a little bit of unsweetened almond milk so this is really macro friendly um, for the volume you get it's only about 250 calories for just these ingredients so you get your micros you get your protein and you get uh, some uh, just some extra sweetness 
for it. So I'm gonna blend it up and then show you guys what it looks like. in there. So I got the ice in there. Drop all that in there. Put the spinach on top. And a little bit of milk right there. And that's all you need. And there you have it. You see the consistency? It's very thick. And it has a lot of iron too. Not only that, it still has tons more in here that I can just drink. For 250 calories, that's pretty good. All right guys, just made it to the gym. Um, it's about 1.30, so an hour, about an hour, hour and a half since I had that smoothie, which uh, helped. And I also, I um, finished off the last Pop-Tart that I had. So I don't buy Pop-Tarts ever. That was actually, because, you know, I went to the Europa, I bought a pack of them, and I didn't finish the pack. So, uh, I just finished off the pack now, and I probably won't buy Pop-Tarts in the future, just because, um, for me, uh, I like to eat things that are more valuable in calories. So, you know how Pop-Tarts are so calorie dense. You know, one Pop-Tart, the cookies and cream, is about 200 calories, which, um, is not really fulfilling. But, yeah, so... Yeah, I probably won't buy pop tarts, and if I do, it'll just be a spur of the moment thing. So I said, I mentioned before earlier that today is going to be um, a pressing day, which um, uses OHPs. Now, I don't think I'm not going to go heavy for sure because I'm still feeling taxed from them deadlifts um, that I did two days ago. So yeah, today's Friday. I did those on Wednesday, and I'm still feeling it from that 495 pull. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to take it easy on the OHP since, you know, you have to use your core um, for OHPs uh, for stability and also puts a lot of pressure on your lower back if um, to keep it upright. So going to go relatively light on those, uh, probably just do uh, three sets of eights. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to fill it out. Um, probably about 155 pounds. We'll see when I get in there. But, yeah, so just did one of the let you guys know still feeling taxed uh, my hamstrings are still feeling taxed too from the uh from the deadlift all as well but um yeah that's enough uh, talking for now so i'll see you guys in the gym What's up dudes? So get into this voiceover. Now I don't think I'm going to explain too much on the voiceover since everything's going to be self-explanatory. I'll just brief it. So I lied. I went to 185 for shoulder presses instead of uh, 155 and I uh, did six sets of four or five sets of four. Either way, I um, it was left a couple reps in the tank. Um, four felt kind of heavy but um, you know it was it was good working weight. Then I did something different, spoto presses, and I haven't done spoto presses, and I don't think I've ever incorporated consistently doing it. So I did it because um, I had a couple of my buddies that you could probably see in the background right there. I was talking with them for a while. This is actually a really long gym session, and um, we just chatted up about the Europa because they were they went there too, and uh, we just you know kicked it and talked for a while. So and I don't usually do that at gyms, other unless I'm at World Gym. You know talking with Andrew or Jason or whatnot and just really briefly but uh yeah so this video took me a little while to get out just because um over the weekend I went to a uh, Raphael show and his videos posted up and I'm sure you guys have already checked it out because if you watch my channel um you're definitely watch his channel you know he has he has a wider spectrum of audience um than I do for sure and um, yeah, so it was really fun. I had a good time. I also vlogged it, but I don't know if I'm going to actually put it up just for the sake that um, he came over to my house yesterday and um, he pulled the footage off my SD because uh, I just uh, used, he used my camera or not. Actually, I filmed for him on my camera. So um, it would be kind of like the same footage, although um, a little different. It'd just be my side of me driving to Miami and then um, we going out to eat and I think he put that all up. I have yet to actually watch his videos even though I was with him when he uh, edited it yesterday. 
But uh, yeah, so we'll see if I do that. Um, I'll figure it out today. And also today's the first day of the semester for me. Which is, uh, it's cool, you know, gotta get back into the groove of things. Um, that's life, you know, school. Really w wanna get the school knocked out. That's why I'm taking two classes, nothing too crazy this semester. Um, just, you know, something to keep me busy. Also, my work schedule is going to go back to normal where I have to train at 4 a.m. Well, not 4 a.m. I have to get up at 4 a.m. just to uh, go train. So, i uh, going to get back to the normal groove of things. Also, yesterday, um, I guess I'm giving you a spoiler alert. I uh, did a food challenge day. Well, not necessarily a food challenge day. I'm just going to call it a full day of cheating. And, um, yeah, so I... May have may not hit 15,000 calories yesterday, um, so you'll see that in the future videos. But let's just say I won't be having another cheat day for a really long time. Uh, yesterday, I going to sleep was really tough. My stomach was bloated, and uh, it was just really out of control. So, not going to be cheating like that for a while. I don't even think I'm going to be eating Chipotle for a while. But uh, yeah, so that's going to conclude it for this commentary. This video was very self-explanatory, nothing new. You know, push downs, the whole push workout in general. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you in the next voiceover. Thanks, guys. All right, what's up, guys? So it is about 6.30, so it's a couple hours after the gym, actually two hours after the gym. It was a pretty long session today. I uh, met up with a couple of my buddies at the gym. Uh, you'll probably overhear or you'll probably see them in one of the shots. But there's a couple of people that I've known for a while, I saw them at the Europa, we were just uh, talking about the experiences we had at the Europa and um, the events that we went to and what forth. But uh, yeah, so it was a little a long gym session, I think I got there about 1.32 and then I didn't leave till about 4.30. And uh, usually on a push day it's pretty quick, but uh, you know, took my time with it, there was no rush today. Damn keeps texting me there was no real rush today um you guys won't believe where i'm at right now i'm at starbucks <laughs> but uh yeah no lifer um friday at a starbucks yeah that's my life but um yeah so the workout went well today um i didn't push myself too hard uh the highest i went to was 185 so i didn't stick to the 155 like i said um that's just stubborn me but uh yeah so didn't really go too crazy with today. Uh, did some spoto presses, which I don't do too often. Actually, I can't even remember the last time I did spoto presses. So yeah, I'm probably gonna incorporate that. I normally would do floor presses on um, on a, an accessory push day, but um, I just wanted to do something a little different, and then you know dumbbell work. And I, I'll do the voiceover so you guys will explain you know what I can uh, within the voiceover. But um, yeah, so. Not gonna do anything too much for the rest of the day besides uh, do a little bit of editing. As you guys could probably tell, I've been pretty consistent on the upload since I've um, been out of school. So, you know, when school starts, I'll, it'll probably be like a one or two uploads a week, but um, right now, I've been trying to do one every other day or every day. Not so much every day, but every other day. So this is what I'm gonna have. Uh, this is just chicken and broccoli, something simple. And I got a little bit of onion chips on top of that. You know, I don't want to go out to eat. Got to save some money because, um, you know, at the Europe, I spent quite a bit of money. And also, um, tomorrow is Raphael's uh, show. So I'm going to drive down to Miami and go support him on that. Uh, he's, like I've said in, my, in the previous videos, he's been doing really good on his diet. And I'm excited to see what type of package he brings uh, to the show. So I'm uh, pretty stoked about that for tomorrow. And um, that's going to be it for this video. So, you know, I I'm going to... Uh, record the his his show. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do. I, obviously, I'm gonna vlog my day, and um, we'll we'll just take it from there. Also, I probably gonna do a little vlogging for him. Not really sure how that's gonna work out, but we'll we'll I'll call him and we'll figure that out for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so again, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. So uh, I have more videos coming out, and um, yeah, so see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.